and your decoys. Um, now a lot of people think, oh, well, water from the beach on the heat's the best thing to, to catch a dog, but um, I, I didn't mind it because you catch foxes and, you know, 50 Fifty dollars a skin. It was well, well worth it. So yeah, so um, that that was good, but uh, it wasn't the result you really wanted. You you wanted to catch a dog, so um, you needed a decoy. Take the water off a, an old dog, you know, that's that's always cocking his leg on something, and and it really stinks. Well, that's the one you wanted, mm. and. And you'd notice um, your dogs when they're around the paddock, if there's, a, if there's a old dry skin or something there, they'll cock their leg on it or bitch or um, pee on it. So um, you needed that little bit of dead stench in, in your decoy. So, you know, you either take a, you know, a bit of liver out of the, the wallaby and, and um, or, you know, any animal really, but um, it'd be, it's best to have something that, um, the dogs, the wild dogs are used to. So then uh, leave that in, in or a bit of blood and leave it in your decoy probably for uh, 12 months before you used it. So, um, and there was different other things we used, but I often wondered when I first started whether it really worked and, <laughs> and we were cutting some wood one day, my father and I, and, and, and Dad was getting on a bit and he's having trouble with his eyesight and that, but what he'd do, he'd, he'd sharpen the chains, uh, uh, chain saws, we had two saws, and he'd sharpen one while I was using the other and fill it with oil and water, and oh, oil and petrol, I should say. Anyhow, um, so I'd finished and the chain was getting blunt, so I'd taken it over and I picked the others the other um, saw up and I thought, oh, this smells like bloody dog piss, you know, it's, it's revolting. And uh, Dad had asked me if I, he said, oh, I've run out of oil, Barry, he said. I said, well, there's a bottle down, there's a, there's a bottle of oil down behind the seat of the Toyota. And not not remembering that the bloody decoy was there, you see, and he's, he, he's, he's got the decoy out and filled the chainsaw up with it. And we had four or five dogs there with us, and, and they just covered this bloody saw. So I thought, yeah, it, it must be pretty good stuff. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I perfected my decoy, okay. But yeah, but one of the best parts was, um, you know, catching a, trust, a dog that was causing a lot of trouble, and, and uh, you know, the, the people, the farmers would appreciate it. And, you always felt welcome and 